Therefore, okay. I, uh, from now on to, I am attending uh, the service. My Sabbath is on Saturday. That's why. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Now, today we are going to dive into the Bible to see if there is a reason or necessity for us to do that. Or maybe the Sabbath was given to some particular people, but not to us, as people are saying. So let the Bible speak. Now, um, the Bible designates a day for Christians to rest and worship. But majority of the Christians completely ignore that. Most Christians, they ignore this. Now, here are the 10 reasons why you and I must stop ignoring that Sabbath day and see what God has done. Now, you see the picture at the background. The picture at the background is about an artist who started to draw a piece of picture. The first day, the artist collected the paint and the pencils and the materials that he would need to paint the picture. Let's assume Vincent van Gogh has a Kustenaar, an artist. He can draw well. Now, the first day, he collected the colors and the water and the pencils and everything. The second day, he set the position where he will put the canvas to make the drawing. The third day, he draw maybe the background. The fourth day, he did maybe uh, the, 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 the skies. The fourth day, he did maybe, maybe the waters there. The fifth day, maybe he draw the green plant and the trees and stuff. The sixth day, maybe the animals at the background and everything. You see? Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying, eh? Yeah. And then on the seventh day, he said, wow, what a moy photo. Ho, 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 ho. What a moy kiss. What an art. Now, I'm about to rest and stop doing everything that I have done. <laughs> but if somebody look at this picture, how can the person know that I drew this picture? How can the person know that I am the owner? I am the one who made the background and everything. How can the person know? It's a question I'm going to call Carol to answer me. Who can imagine wait that a bendigene didn't have Mike, take it. How can somebody know that I draw this picture? Carol, answer me, please. Um, you you sign it with your name. Good. Thank you very much. So if you can see here, the artist signed everything with his name, showing that I am the owner of everything you see. In much the same way, Elohim Yahweh did it. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The second day he did this. The third day he did that. The fourth day he did it until the sixth day. So the sixth day, the Bible says he looks at everything and says, Yes, this is very good. <laughs> so on the seventh day, he rested. That was when he put his signature on the whole creation that I, I am the creator. That's a picture you need to see now. So if God created the whole universe in six days and the seventh day he didn't do anything but but rested and put his signature, then me and you, we are to do the same thing. That's the picture you need to have at the back of your mind. Good, let's continue. This is just a small introduction story I want you to picture. Now, let's see something. Uh, let me go on to this one. When you read your Bible, first John chapter 4, verse number 24. John 4, 24. It's in your Bible. The Bible says, An hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Huh. Look at the wordings very, very closely. An hour is coming. And now is the hour. When the true worshippers, true worshippers, true worshippers, the, the word in blau, take note of that. 
we worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And I it was again, it was John 4.24. It's on your screen, John 4.24, right there. You see? You see that, John 4.24? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. John 4 24 is right there. He said, A time is coming and now is when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. See? So if we take the opposite of the words I have made in blue, you will know that indeed there are also false worshippers there. Do you agree with me? Yes. Yes. Because the Bible says the true worshippers, not the false one, but no. the true one. Yes. True one. Mm -hmm. What would they do? They worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Now look at this one. The Father is seeking. God, Elohim, Yahweh, is looking for people. What is he looking for? What is Elohim, Elohim Yahweh looking for? Uh -huh. mm. Mm. Mama Sarah, do you want to tell us what is Elohim Yahweh looking for? Uh -huh. Who can answer me? Those what? who worship him in spirit. Who worship, him. Worship, us to worship him in spirit and truth. Thank you very much. He's looking for those who worship him in spirit and in truth. So not not in false worship, but in true worship. Right? Can I continue, please? Yes, please. So if God is looking for people who worship him in spirit and in truth, the question is, can he find you? If your answer is okay. yes, say yes. If God is looking for, Elohim Yahweh is looking for people who worship him in spirit and in truth, can he find you? Me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. if you say yes, yes, thank you. Who else? Who else? Yes. So it's only Carol and Malone that Elohim Yahweh can find him. No, 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 no. He find you because the, you talk the truth and everything so your heart. God find you. Uh -huh. Now you are talking. Good. Thank you. Uh -huh. So let's go and find out if indeed we are true worshippers. What makes him? Or what makes you a true worshiper? That's a question. If Elohim Yahweh is looking for one who will worship in spirit and in truth, then ask yourself, am I worshiping him in truth and in spirit? If that not be the case, then you are disqualified. Let's find out. Okay. Now, let's go on to the next slide. Very soon we find out. Very soon, very soon, very soon. Now, look at this one. In Isaiah chapter 66 verse number 23 Isaiah chapter 66 verse number 23 is in on your bible or it's on the screen please open your bible you see it there it's right there Elohim Yahweh says that it shall come to pass or it will happen that from one new moon to the other and from one sabbath to the other all will come to worship before me so my question is when will the true worshipers worship elohim yahweh <laughs> when will the true worshipers worship elohim yahweh carol on the sabbath 
Yeah. That's yes. the when. <laughs> so Elohim Yahweh is not looking for those who worship him on the first day of the week or the third day of the week, but on the Sabbath time. Thank you. You see that? So in P, in our local dialect, the Bible says in Isaiah 6, 23 that Na Ebeba say Osanifu Frobiara Osanifu Frobiara ne homed de biara. Homeda, you see that? Mama Mary saw her. Homeda Biara. Honem yina beba be sore me. Everybody na wasi. It's Elohim Yahweh who has spoken, not man. So if you are a true worshipper, when will you worship Elohim Yahweh? On the Sabbath. Sabbath. So this one must give you a fundamental ground to stand on, so that your uh, worship on the Sabbath should not be as if you are doing God a favor. No, you are not going doing Elohim Yahweh your favor. He is rather giving you a favor. He is looking for you. Amen. Amen. Now, let's see this. The, special, the, the, the Sabbath is a special day that is found throughout the passage of the Bible, both the Old Testament and the New Testament. But amazingly, majority of those who profess to be Christians, they don't know about it or they know little about it. Most people don't know. But thanks be to God, Elohim Yahweh, that we know. Okay, we know. Now, look at this. On the seventh day, God did something. In your Bible, Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 to 3, there are three things that God did on the Sabbath day. <laughs> Who can open his Bible and tell me? Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Please open your Bible and tell me the three things that God did on the Sabbath day. Genesis chapter 2. Yes, who is there? Amen. Genesis 2. Yes, please read and let us know what God did on the third day. Of, sorry, on the seventh day. On the seventh day, God had finished his work and creation, so he rested from all his work. Uh huh. Verse 2. He blessed it. He did what? Resting. Yeah. And what again? I love, I love the. He I made the day it. holy. Good. And the I third love. one? And the next one, what did he do again? He blessed the seventh day and declared it holy. Because Thank it you. Was Correct. So on the third day, oh sorry, on the seventh day, Lohim Yahweh, number one, he did what? He rested. Yeah. Number two, he blessed. Number three, he sanctified the seventh day. These three things made the seventh day very, very special. And one thing is that Satan also wants to be like God. Don't forget, that was why he was thrown down here. Mm -hmm. Anything that God does, Satan also does as counterfeit. Satan will say, okay, if God rested on the seventh day, me, I will let the whole world rest on so and so and so date. I will sanctify so and so date for myself. So, if you are a true worshiper, then you go to what Elohim Yahweh did right from the beginning. Amen. Amen. Good. We continue. Very soon we come to questions and answers. Good. So, the first thing that, or the first reason that you must have at the back of your mind is that, number one, the Sabbath is commanded by God. So you are not observing the Sabbath because your friends are observing the Sabbath. No. You are observing it because God commanded it. And any commandment from God, do you have anything to say concerning no. that? No. Command is a command. Period. Mm -hmm. So when, when you read <laughs> Exodus chapter Exodus 20, verse 8 to 3, it is written there. Exodus 31, verse 13, is written there as a command. So I want somebody to open his Bible and let us hear. Maybe I made a typing mistake. Then, Mr. Malone, you will read 20, verse 8 for us. And uh, somebody, Mama Betty, 
we'll read 31 13. We are two scriptures. No, Exodus 31 13. Exodus 31 13. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Brian Brian Maron Maron is going to read Exodus 28. Okay, but I've got a Dutch Bible there. Eh? Exodus is a uh, Genesis Exodus, yes. 20 yes. verse 8. Who Remember is Remember the Sabbath. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Continue, Six days you will labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord, your God. Then you shall not work, nor you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your servant, nor your mate, nor your cattle, nor the stranger living in your town. Because in six days, the mm -hmm. Lord made heavens and the earth, mm -hmm. the sea and all mm -hmm. therein. And he rested on the seventh day. Mm -hmm. That's why he blessed the Sabbath and sanctified it. Thank you very much. So you see the commandment that you read, it was Elohim Yahweh who spoke it and he wrote it down. So it's a commandment. We all understood that. Yes. Do yes. we all accept that? Yes. yes. Then let's see another one from 3113. Okay. 3113. Yes. Exodus 3113. Yes. Uh, I start from 12 to 3. Uh, then the Lord said to Moses, 13, say to the Israelites, you must, you must observe my Sabbath. This will be a sign between me and you for the generation to come. So you may know that I I am the Lord who makes you holy. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask for 14 in count. Read the 14, please. Up to 17, okay. actually. Okay. Observe the Sabbath because it is holy, holy to you. Anyone who this great okay my, my memoir. it is it is it is my that is it is to be it is to be put it is <laughs> oh my god uh, my, my this memoir, great, what you, know, see, it, you shall keep the sabbath therefore for it is holy unto you sure. everyone that define it shall surely be put to death, for so whosoever done any work therein, that soul shall be cut off before, before among these people, before among his people. Amen. Good. Thank you very much, Papa uh, Isaac. So you see the commandment God gave in verse 31, 13. So speak to the children of Israel. Very, very my Sabbath you shall keep. So the question is, for who is the Sabbath? Is it for you or for Elohim Yahweh? It's for, for me. No, it's not for you. For Elohim Yahweh. <laughs> he said, my Sabbath you shall keep. So whose Sabbath are we keeping? Elohim Yahweh. Exactly. So yeah. this is one of your fundamental uh, belief. That what you are doing, you are not doing for yourself. No. You are not doing for your wife. You are no. not doing for your pastor. But who no. are you doing it for? Hello, you. Yeah. Good. Hello, so yeah. let's ask a question here. The place where you work, Mama Mary, uh, Mama Mary, please can you follow me? Mama Mary, oh. Mama Mary, but oh. Okay, let's continue. Now, for example, the place where you work from Monday to Friday, eight hours a week, and your chef says, oh, Malone, uh, today um, we want you to do extra time. Tomorrow, Saturday, come from 10 o'clock in the morning to 
If I show na me you know lock we fe na etumi abue. Me pa cho dem make am to be follow me kakra bro for him. I me follow. Yo, my team that. First no na nkro for a ring me as him. Nti man tin ye but e nko. Okay, thank you. All right. Now. Mr. Malone, uh, normally yeah. I pay you 20 euro per hour. But mm -hmm. when you come to work on the sub Saturday from 10 o'clock, I'll pay you 50 euro per hour. Mr. Malone, what will you say? Sorry, I cannot be there. And why? 50 euro per hour is a big money. Uh -huh. Yes. But I have made my decision to attend to the service of the Lord, especially okay. on Sabbath. Okay. So therefore, you don't want the money. Well, I want the money, but not on that day. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> you can defend what you are saying by quoting Acts chapter 5, verse number 29. The Bible says, should we obey God or should we obey man? You see that? Most obey Christians, uh -huh, it's in Acts 5.29. We obey our pastors, we obey our leaders instead of God. So one day somebody stood up and said, No, I will change the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday, and everybody is obeying that man. <laughs> yes. See that? Uh -huh. yes. Yes. That's why we have these differences among us now. Mm -hmm. So when you go to Acts chapter 5, verse 29 to 32, it's written there Should we obey God rather than man? Of course not. You're going to obey yeah. Elohim because he said in Exodus 31 13 that we should observe that day for him. Yes. It's not for you, it's for him. So and, you are number one even, reason. You are number even, one reason. Even on the 14, he said anyone who who will do work in, in the Sabbath, that person will be down or it, the person will be cut off. Yes, from his have to cut off. So yes. if if you work on the Sabbath because of money, it means you are not a monk. Of the children of Yahweh, the kingdom of God, Yahweh, you are not among because you follow money. That's and it. You, you decided not to uh, obey uh, God's word or His law because you did not observe the Sabbath because of exactly. money. Yes, exactly, exactly. Thank you very much, Brazy, for adding. So that's why Mr. Malone said, "Oh, Alice, hundred euro per hour. I don't like it. Take your money." Because my Lord, Elohim Yahweh, says I shouldn't do any work. So. The lesson that we're supposed to take from here and tell our friends that on the Sabbath <laughs> we put money aside. We want to ordain that and that day only for Elohim Yahweh. Amen. 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 So, Amen. Reason number two. Reason number two. The Sabbath is the most relaxing 24 hours of the week. So in Genesis, God instituted the Sabbath day by resting. On the seventh day of the week, we just read it. He did this not because he was tired. Hey, hold on, wait a minute. If somebody wants to rest, that means the person is tired. But can God get tired? No. no. Then why did he rest? <laughs> That's a question I want to put to who have not spoken this evening. Uh, I want Perpetua to answer for us. Perpetua Ajimine, please, you are on the platform. God does not get tired, but why did he rest on the Sabbath day? He rests on the Sabbath day because he wants uh, us to worship in that day for him. Okay, that's why he rested. Yeah, that's why he rests on the Sabbath day, so that it will be a day for him, so for that any time you remember. Thank you very much. I like your answer. God bless you. Edit, please, can you help us? God is not flesh. He's a spirit. But he rested. Was he tired? If no, then why? Edit. Um, he's not tired. And he wants us to worship him on Saturday because he is the creator. Because he is what? The creator. And a uh, uh, symbolic. Uh, Thank you. I've underlined the correct answer in red. He set us an example for us. That's why Jesus Christ, when he came, he said, 
the Sabbath was not made for man, but man was made for the Sabbath. Right. You see, man was not made for the Sabbath, but Sabbath was made for man. It was made for us to rest. And in the course of our resting, we worship him. Amen. If we would work, if we, would work we wouldn't have the time no. to honor him on the Sabbath. Uh -huh. So he gave it an example. And as an example. Now, I'm going to the third reason that we pause here for questions. The third reason why we worship on the Sabbath is that it gives us a complete, uh, 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 the Sabbath pictures a time of complete peace on the earth. Now, for example, you came home from uh, your work and your wife or maybe your daughter or the person in the house has finished everything in the house for you. The food is cooked, everything is set. You just sit down and say, ah, what a peaceful home. Then you rest, right? So mm -hmm. the one a day, one week Sabbath, we do one every week, is a picture that God has written for us. I'll show you the picture very soon. So we are going to Hebrews chapter 4 verse 9 to reveal the picture. So the book of Hebrews tells us that there remains therefore a rest for the people of God. I want somebody to open that chapter for me. Hebrews 4, verse number 9. Let us go and see that picture. Behind the English word, the word rest is very interesting. It's the Greek word sabbatismos. Sabbatismos. The word rest is sabbatismos. This word literally means keeping a Sabbath. This chapter connects the weekly Sabbath with the kingdom of God. A prophesied time of peace in which the whole world will rest from evil and suffering. The Sabbath is to remind us every week of the uh, coming rest of the kingdom of God. So let's quickly go to Hebrews 4 verse 9. Let's read the picture over there. Who has opened Hebrews 4 9? Okay, Hebrews 4 9. Uh, there is remain then a sabbath rest for the people people of god good amen who on the platform is among the people of god those who worship on sabbath good they are the people of god he said therefore they remain that means there is a sabbath day coming that is remain for us this is the quotation where the sunday pastors most of them they will quote and tell you christ has come therefore your rest is in christ but the Bible says there remain there. There means something that is over there, not here. He says therefore there remains. It is there. It's over there. In the home that akama eradimai. Good. In the home that akama eradimai. Akama yeng. It has remained for us. There remains it. So let's go and see this big picture that Hebrew is talking about. So quickly, I'm going back in my slide. This big picture you see here. This big picture. Okay, let me clarify here. Now, right from the beginning, where Adam fell is all the way here. All the ages, 6,000 from the time Adam to Christ came, is all the way here. So, this is a timeline from the beginning all the way here. When the Roman Empire came to power, everything, where Christ came, everything here. Christ has died and he is gone. He will be come back. So we are now here. We are now over here. You see? Uh -huh. So, this is the time where Christ will return. And that time, it will, he will spend thousand years with us on earth. We call the millennium years. This place here. So, Second Peter says, one day is before God a thousand years. So this one day that we are observing the Sabbath on earth is going to be a thousand years to come when Christ will come and we shall reign with him here on earth. This one is to be found in Isaiah 66 verse number 22. So the Sabbath that you are observing today is not wrong. It's a picture that is shown in the new heaven and the new earth to come. So quickly, I would like uh, Brother Isaac to help us read Isaiah 66 says, verse 22 and 23. 
let's go and see the big picture as hebrew talk about right now good so we are all going to see the big picture the prophecy in Isaiah 66 verse 22 and 23. Isaiah. Yes, I'm not open on. Isaiah. Uh -huh. 66. The big picture. That Hebrew, the book of Hebrew has now brought it out. The book of Hebrew said there remains a Sabbath rest for the people of God. So let's go and see the prophecy that God revealed through prophet Isaiah. Let's see it. Uh -huh. Is anybody there? Six, six, this is 22. Okay, as I said, this is verse 22. To 23, yes. Everybody, please Isaiah listen God. carefully. The picture Isaiah saw, that is why we are reading. Uh -huh. Okay. For us, the new heaven and the new earth. Hold on. Hold on. The Bible says a new heaven and a new earth. So which I, which I, I will make, uh -huh. which I will make, uh -huh. shall remain before me, uh -huh. said Yahweh. Uh -huh. So shall you uh -huh. send, so shall, you, so shall your seed your and seat. your name uh -huh. remain. Uh -huh. 23. 23. And it shall come to pass that uh -huh. from, from one new moon to another and from one sabbath to another uh -huh. shall all flesh come to worship before me said thank you very the much thank you very much thank you very much you see it's a prophecy this earth we are living on it's going to burn it's going to go away jesus said heaven and earth shall pass away and uh, Isaiah is prophesying that the new heaven and the new earth will come. When me and you, verse 23, said that we shall worship Elohim Yahweh every Sabbath and every new moon. That was why Hebrews, the book of Hebrews 4 9, is saying that what Isaiah says is true. So, therefore, there remain a Sabbath rest for the people of God. So, that thousand years that is coming, me and you, we are going to rest with Yahshua, the Messiah, in the new earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So this one should be a joy in your heart. That when you observe the Sabbath, you have not made a mistake. You are part of the picture that Elohim Yahweh has already drawn in the future. Amen. Amen. Good. So this is the third reason why you, you and I, we observe the Sabbath. So... I'll pause here for questions. I'll pause here for questions so far. If I've said something that you don't uh, quite clear, get it, you can ask a question and we move on. Shalom, shalom. Yahweh, shalom. Yahweh, shalom. Uh, what we have read from Isaiah 66, verse uh, 22 to uh, 23, that means uh it shows us that uh, the bible say from one moon to another from one sabbath to another the new king the new heaven that i'm going to make or the new heaven and the new earth i'm going to make, all flesh will come and worship me in the sabbath it means those who are not worship the sabbath as we are living on this earth now can never enter into the kingdom of god thank you that was a question from a brother. He says that when the new, sub, new heaven and new earth come, those who are not worship Elohim Yahweh now, will they not go there and worship there? I will say the answer is no. They cannot. Why? Whoever does not break God's law will enter into that new kingdom. But if you break God's law, according to James 2 verse number 10, the Bible says that if you break one of the law, you are breaking all of them. So if you break the Sabbath law, you are breaking all of them. Second, second, the Bible says that in Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 25 that the person who is righteous is the one who can obey God's commandments. But you are chosen to obey nine and leave the rest. Will righteous people enter into the new heaven? 
if the answer is no then of course you cannot enter there to go and worship him on the sabbath okay so that means uh the the commandment of yahweh is so important for everybody to uh follow the commandment of god because when you read uh james 2 verse 10 if you say if any man obey all the laws and he loses one it means that when i i obey all the nine nine the nine commandment and i throw away the sabbath it means i'm i'm guilty of all the, mm -hmm. the nine that i'm observing mm -hmm. so i cannot enter no. into the kingdom of living yahweh mm. no no of course not because so now okay. now that we, we we came to know that the law of Yahweh is so important because when you read in uh, hmm. Revelation 14, verse 13, it says, Here are the, uh, uh, the persecution of the, of the saints, those who obeyed the, the law of Yahweh and the faith of Yeshua Messiah. These are the two things that we are using to enter into the kingdom of Elohim Yahweh. So yeah. it means that the Sabbath that we are observing now is so important. Not the Sabbath alone, but all the Ten Commandments is so important. But mm -hmm. one thing I get to know that. Let, let's see all the all, uh, all the ten commandments but when we reach the sabbath law yahweh put something on on the sabbath he say remember it means that it will come a day that he, he know that people will forget the sabbath that's why he used that word remember okay anytime god says remember it is something that he has already said yeah. If he had not already said, you're not asked you to remember what I said. Mm. Yeah. Because he said it in Genesis chapter 2, verse number 3, he's telling you, remember what I did there. Mm. Uh, in much the same way, when you come to the Passover, Yeshua Messiah said, This is my blood and my body. Take it. Whenever you eat, remember. What mm. do you remember? He did it in Exodus when they yeah. killed the goat and used the blood. So anytime he's telling you something to remember, it has already been done already, but he wants you to remember. But you know one thing very sad, all the things that Elohim and Yahshua say we remember, you forget them. Yeah. So the Sabbath is very, very important for us to, to comply by. Yeah. Thank you very much, Brother Zik, for your contribution and answers. Yeah, it's a very powerful one. God bless you. Good. Anybody with a question or contribution so far before we continue? Uh, please, I have a question. Yes. I just, I just came on. I just came on. I'm Emmanuel from Russia. Um, I had, I had the Adam Brown saying that um, we, we need to uh, remember the Sabbath. Yes, of course. Uh, so you, you, I think you or uh, the other man was saying that if we disobey uh, to, to keep it holy. Meaning we are not going to heaven, right? Okay. Uh, not that I, I have forgotten or I don't remember the Sabbath, but the problem is, the point is, it, it's not even a point. Okay, this is the problem. I went to two days rest today, so it may be that um, Saturday I'm working. For instance, yesterday I worked. If I, if I don't go to work, meaning I'll be fired. And if I'm fired, there's problem you see so i want to know um hanging on on this for the moment is it is it the same although i i worship during uh sabbath even when i'm at work so i want to know if this is a big sin that can um lead me to to to, to go to hell or um will, will, will there be a consideration for me please? <laughs> okay let me tell you small, then Brian could add more. Me, I'll tell you small. Uh, okay. When it comes to a point whereby you have no choice, for example, the work you do is a life and death work, like a doctor, like somebody who uh, makes food or anything that has to do with human survival, a soldier or a police officer, anybody who yeah. serves a nation. There are some jobs or work that we can't omit. A doctor cannot say that a Sabbath, so I will not go to operate somebody who is sick. No. That's why Yahshua said the Sabbath was made for man. You are allowed to save life with your work. But if the work you do does not save any life and you have no choice, 
pray to Elohim Yahweh the Lord. I am not doing this because I love money, but I have no choice. Please open the way for me. Ask permission from Elohim Yahweh before, before you go to do that work. But observe it and have it at the back of your mind that you are obliged to worship him on his day. But the situation has come so much that you have no choice. Beg okay. him before you leave home. Let him acknowledge to him that you are borrowing his day for your thing. And he should open mm -hmm. another avenue for you. Yes. When you acknowledge, Proverbs chapter 23 says that acknowledge your ways, all your ways, acknowledge him. If you do that, he will not hold you guilty against it. But then, don't enjoy the pleasure of it. In the beginning, I made a small uh, comparison that, for example, you work from Monday to Friday, you get 20 euro per hour, and your chef says, come and work extra hours on Saturday for 50 euro per hour. And if you look at the size of the money and you go to do it, then you are it's, it's for money. It's not because you are in trouble. It's different. You understand what I'm saying? The two differences now, right? Eh? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if exactly. the work you do, you have no choice. But that's the only means of survival. Beg on him not to hold it against you, but he should open a way for you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I really Thank you. Bra Isaac, please, if you can ask something uh, to his question. My, uh, brother, uh, God bless you. Uh, brother in Russia, uh, I, I used to do Bible studies with them, those people in Asia. Uh, brother, let me tell you something. We, uh, we first read on uh, uh, Isaiah, um, Exodus 31, verse 14. See, see what he said, 14. And you shall keep the Sabbath. Therefore, for it is holy unto you. Everyone that defined it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever do any work in in that soul shall be cut off from among his people. It's Yahweh who is speaking, not me. And you say you say something about consideration. Uh, I don't think there is a consideration in the judgment. I cannot tell because it's it's about the work that you do or your obedience that it will give you that uh, consideration. So if Yahweh have told you, ask my brother, explain it now. If Yahweh have told you that, okay, Sabbath is my is the day that I've I've told you people to observe. It's the holy because when he say he say all oh, in in the in the new heaven and new earth, all soul will come and worship me in the Sabbath. But he want us to be practiced on this earth. So if you follow money and you don't want to do that, how can you be saved? We have some work that our brother said is important, like doctor, like nurse. It's happened when Jesus Christ give uh, give an example that a man was walking on the uh, on the roadside going to Jericho, and he he met armed robbers, and they were he, the man was beaten, and he, they they left the man on the roadside. When the pastor and the uh, elders pass him by, but a good Samaritan he carries that. It means that he is talking about the importance of the work. That when somebody is dying on the Sabbath, you can save the person. That's why Jesus, uh, Yeshua Messiah, did when he healed sickness on the Sabbath. Even those people were not understand, but you have to tell, you have to tell them that this is what we have to do on the Sabbath. But the Lord want me and you don't go and do work because of money, because then you choose money than the, the than the Holy Sabbath. So the, because of the situation. The only thing that you have to say, you have to pray. Let me let me say one thing. Our brother, maybe everybody knows Uncle Benson. He he uh, he lose his job six months. He was looking for a job. Every job that every they introduced to Uncle Benson, the job, including Saturday, he told himself, now that I've come to see that the Sabbath is the holy day of Yahweh, I will never work. But true to he sat down for six months praying. Now, living Yahweh has given him a work, even Sunday and Saturday are out. So first, we have to have faith that the man that we are following, he can do everything possible for us because he will never disappoint us. He know that we're observing and he know the situation that we're living in. So my brother, God can change things. So mm -hmm. only thing that we have to say that, no, even if 
because of money, then I will lose my life. I will never do. Because let me tell you, this is what Shadnak Mednak and Abednego says. Hey, King, even if our Lord that we worship mm -hmm. will not come and save us, we will never, never uh, bow down and worship this idol. Mm -hmm. Have you seen? Even mm -hmm. if you don't get money, if you if you don't uh, uh, get work on that, uh, that uh, you have to put in mind that even my Lord will, 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 uh, will provide my need. My brother, it, it can happen. Amen. 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 Could Brahima please have you? Are you satisfied with the answers given so far? Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you too. God bless you much more. Amen. So, Amen. if nobody go have a question, I'll bring the fourth point, and then maybe we will end there for next week. Now, uh, in addition to the one we just read, according to Ezekiel chapter twenty, verse number twelve, that Sabbath is a sign between God and His people. So if you count yourself as God's people, then the Sabbath must be a sign. It's in your Bible right there, Ezekiel 20, 12. So if somebody asks you, why do you observe the Sabbath? One of your reasons must be that it is a Sabbath between Elohim Yahweh and me. Uh -huh. Because he sanctifies me. It said that, moreover, I also gave them my Sabbath to be a sign between me and them that they might know that I am the Lord who sanctifies them. So in the time that you fall into sin and you confess your sin, he used Elohim, Yahshua Messiah's blood to sanctify you because he has his covenant with you with the Sabbath as a sign. Next time when we are teaching the 666, the mark of the beast, this one will come in as God's sign to his people. Now, the fourth and the last one we are taking for today is this. Most people say that the Sabbath was made for the Jews. So when you go to Sabbath service, they say you are serving a, a, a sabbatical uh, a, a Judaism or you are doing Jewish service. It's not true. It's not true at all. Now, the question I want to put here is that Genesis, <laughs> I've said the answer even. There are two things that God made in the beginning before sin. One of them was marriage, our dear marriage. God did this before, um, before sin came. What else again did God institute before sin came? Mm. It's a question to the general board. Who can mm. tell me the answer? Mm. God did two special things before sin entered the world in Genesis chapter 2. Who can tell me those things? The one of them was marriage. The second one was? The commandment of Yahweh. That one is correct, but a particular one. The Sabbath. Yeah. After he married Adam and Eve, he gave them the Sabbath. So if people say that the Sabbath is now gone and it's for the Jewish, then tell them not to marry. <laughs> because marriage, marriage was also there. And if they are marrying and the marriage is not for the Jews, then why would they say the Sabbath is for the Jews? Were Adam and Eve Jewish? No. Were no. they Ghanaians? No. no. Were they oh, Surinamers? No. no. Were they Antilliane? No. Hey, they were human beings. So human let's being. go to Mark 2.28 and see who did God make the Sabbath for? We are going to Mark 2.28. If Adam and Eve were not Jewish, for who did Elohim Yahweh make the Sabbath for? So you hear many hear the Sabbath, particularly in Jewish. However, Jesus Christ himself, he said, he's the Lord of the Sabbath. Yes, who can read for us? Who can read for us? March 28. Uh-huh. Yes, amen. Read from verse 27, please. Yes, nobody there? And the Lord said to them, uh -huh. Sabbath is made for men. For Surinamis. 
and <laughs> men in general, all men. For Ghanaians. All men. Is all men <laughs> in your Bible? Okay. For human for, for humankind. Good for humankind. humankind. Correct. So the Sabbath was not made for Surinamers or Ghanaians or Jewish. The Bible says in Mark 2, 26, 27, 28, that uh, uh, the Sabbath was made for man, but not for Jews. So God wants Christians, indeed everyone in the world, to enjoy this amazing blessings of the Sabbath. So the Sabbath was not for the Jews. The Sabbath was for all man. But a few of us have accepted this invitation to worship Elohim Yahweh on that day that he wanted Others choose Fridays, others choose Wednesdays, others Sunday. But he said, no, the seventh day is the day I have to see for myself. Amen. 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 Please, till what time is the Bible study? 7.30 to 8.30 or till what time? 8.30 is okay. To 8.30, okay. Then we're going to end here. And next week, by the grace of God, we continue. And then we finish it. There are only 10 reasons. So today we come to the fourth reason. Being that the Sabbath was meant for mankind, not for Jews. The third reason is that the Sabbath holds a picture for a time of peace on the earth. The time is coming. And it is found in Isaiah 66 verse 22. And it's confirmed in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 19. And the second reason is that the Sabbath is the most relaxing 24 hours of the week. What 24 hours? It starts from Friday 6 o'clock. Saturday 6 o'clock. Yeah, evening. through the whole evening, Saturday morning, through the whole day till Saturday 6 o'clock. 24 hours. It's for you to rest in Yahweh. Amen. Uh, and the I'm first reason... Okay. I have a the, question. Uh, hold on for a minute, please. And the first and the most important reason is that Yahweh commanded it that do not do anything observe the day for me no matter what your wife says your mother says your pastor says observe the day for me according to Ezra 31 13 and Ezra 20 verse 8 why because Hebrews 4 9 says there remains therefore a Sabbath rest for the people of God amen amen, amen. Uh, uh, can I ask a, a question, one question before we, we leave? Yes, please. Uh, we used to hear from our brothers who worship on Sunday that uh, Yeshua Messiah raised on the, on the first day of the week. That, that was a sad Sunday. I, I do my calculation that it was, it was not correct because when you calculate 72 hours, it will give you a three days. And uh, uh, let me put that as another uh, topic. But they used to say, then I want to ask, after the death of Yeshua Messiah, did the disciple also continue to worship on the Sabbath or did they change it to, the, to worship on the first day of the week while Yeshua Messiah rose up on the first day of the week? It's a question I want all the board to bring their answers forward and I will conclude it, please. I think it was said that will start in the beginning. Honor the Sabbath. We honor the Sabbath. I don't think that will ever and can ever so can be changed. We, can, can we get a quotation to, to, to prove? When somebody asks you this question, can, you, can we get a quotation in the New Testament to prove? These are all kind of things that we have to learn as a children of living Yahweh. <laughs> I want the woman to come out because this thing we have learned a lot. We have learned a lot. We used to listen to Apostle, especially you, our, our ladies. We used to listen to Apostle. It's a lot of quotations. And when you go to Acts, it's more than a decade. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Yahweh Shalom. The women, where are you? I said that the, the, the disciples continue to worship on Sabbath. That is what I know. Even, even, uh, the okay, then, uh, uh, Uncle Ernest, let's put this question to next week so that 
it's another uh, another discussion. We have to continue of this so that we understand very well about the Sabbath that we are worship. And, and every everywhere that or anytime that we pray to people, we have to get a quotation to back it. So we prove to them that we are observing the Sabbath because as the Bible said, those in the old <clears throat> the old people who came to follow Messiah, they did the same thing after even Messiah have died and gone. They still observe the Sabbath. So we have to also observe as the Bible have told us. So I think we leave it here. So we we'll continue on next week. Thank you, Brother Isaac. When we finish this series, that is the reasons why we keep the Sabbath, we go and find out what Yahshua Messiah did on the Sabbath, the what the apostles also did, and okay. what you and I have to do. But yeah. first, you must have the reason why you are doing it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Good. Amen. Anybody with any question again before we bring it to a conclusion? Oh, but as it now, question was a question of woman and now I say, David, yeah, the other one, you're there, you're better. Why say yes, you want to be in a year? Be happy. Okay, then we are going to close it. So if you have any question, you write it down. Next week when we come, we tackle it. Then we bring the fifth to the tenth reasons why we don't ignore the Sabbath uh, uh, observations. Amen. Amen. So we are going to bow down our heads. Yes, Mr. Carol. Mr. Wo, we we make quotation. We now Deuteronomy 22. I said, "Yes, sir." Oh my God, you know my answer. Deuteronomy says 25. I say 25, okay. Yeah. Thank you. It's written there that if we observe all that Elohim Yahweh have commanded us, then we shall be righteous. Okay. So you cannot be righteous if you observe some of the commandment and leave some. That's okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you too. So let's bow down our heads mm -hmm. as we ask our father, brother Isaac, Good. to pray for us amen 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 we thank you elohim yahweh for goodness and mercy that will fall upon our lives we gather in in your name yeshua messiah to lend the the good book of you this is what you you told us to do every day that we have to gather and learn it so that we never fall into temptation. Lord, guide us and give us a good heart so that we will believe your word and your commandments and we will follow them to the day that we will depart from this earth or the day that your son, Yeshua Messiah, will come back again in the name of Yeshua Messiah. We are going, we are going to slay this night. We commit our soul, our body into your hand. Protect us and guide us, including our children, our family, Send your angels to come and guide us. When morning comes, we give you praises and glory in the mighty name of Yeshua Messiah. Amen. 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 God bless you all for attending. Amen. Next week, we will continue. Shalom, shalom. Oh, let's share the grace. Shalom. Let's share the grace before we leave. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ the, love of God, the love of God, and the fellowship and the of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and forever. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now, person can be me.